Welcome back to TV Nation. You guys go to college? Uh huh. Where'd you yeah. go? Caltech, Binghamton, Northwestern. What kind of classes did you take? I took music theory, music history, a lot of biology, biochemistry. <laughs> Nothing in death squads? Uh, water polo. Water polo? That's not death squads. It's pretty violent. Did you take any classes where you learned how to kill people? Uh, no, I can't say that I did. We did take a class in that, actually. Yeah, taekwondo. Uh -huh. There's a school down in Georgia called School of the Americas that we fund with our tax dollars that trains Latin American soldiers on how to keep their people in their proper place, if you know what I mean. Hi. Would you like to see their recruiting films? Sure. Watch this. Nestled among stately trees in Fort Benning, Georgia, a peaceful campus beckons to our brothers in arms. The School of the Americas. It's a school you should know more about. Since 1946, the U.S. Army has trained 58,000 Latin American soldiers at the School of the Americas, all paid for by the U.S. taxpayer. So don't worry about tuition. If you're young, ambitious, foreign, and like to shoot guns, the U.S. Army will fly you from your Latin American home to Fort Benning, Georgia. Why, in just the last year, the School of the Americas welcomed 42 soldiers from Peru, 25 from Venezuela, 146 from Chile, 346 from Colombia, and scores from countries all over Latin America. The school helped them all to focus their abilities, take aim at the future, and say buenas tardes to a new world order. The School of the Americas is the United States Army's uh, instrument to further U.S. Army goals in Latin America. Students at the School of the Americas receive a well-rounded education that includes courses on avoiding booby traps, jumping into water, diplomatic relations, and shooting really big guns. So keep on plugging, soldier. There's plenty of ammo, and it's all free, 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 thanks to the U.S. taxpayer. Graduates return to Latin America better equipped to deal with their enemies, whoever they happen to be. Hola, enemies. Just like these illustrious grads adorning the school's wall of fame who've gone on to neutralize troublemakers, bolster foreign trade and foreign substances, trounce political opponents, and battle unwanted intruders. Some graduates, like General Noriega, have even gone on to work for the CIA, earning thousands in their spare time. This year, another 1,800 graduates from the School of the Americas will charge out and make their marks on the world, turning heads and making headlines, creating a big impression wherever they go, and even catching a few unlucky Americans off guard. La escuela no es culpable de que los militares vayan más allá de sus deberes o cometan errores. The School of the Americas, where the soldiers of today become the strong men of tomorrow. One school that won't get its funding cut. Seventeen percent of college graduates would punch themselves really hard in the face for fifty dollars. 